All this attention, how has it affected both Good Luck Jonathan and Boko Haram? Has it emboldened one and forced the other into action or vice versa? So, so it's interesting, Nigeria is a country that has a lot of national pride. Um, they pride themselves on the fact that Nigeria is uh, the, the largest economy in Africa. They've got a lot of natural resources. And so they see themselves as the heart of Africa. So the idea of accepting help from outsiders from mm -hmm. the United States. Um, a lot of politicians in Nigeria view that as, as a weakness. That, that is why they were so reluctant initially to accept uh, outside help. But I think now, after three weeks, there is this acceptance that the United States can offer a lot that Nigeria can't. Nigeria is obviously a third world country. Right. The United States can bring surveillance abilities, uh, technology tracking capabilities that Nigeria simply doesn't have. Even China is volunteering some satellite help as well. And do you think this uh, reward of 310,000 will make a difference? Will that bring some? Yeah. You know, honest, honestly, Bill, I I don't know. This is not the first time we've seen a reward for capturing yeah. uh, Boko Haram or anything like that. Um, Abu Bakr Shekhar, the head of Boko Haram, he is one of the most wanted men in Africa. And it really hasn't made a difference because there is just so much fear, uh, especially of revenge killings. You capture Boko Haram, you kill the leader. What is going to happen in terms of revenge? What, are there going to be more girls who are kidnapped, more people who are killed? Uh, it's such a uh, gut-wrenching story and the idea that they may be across the border in other countries. Um, but we'll keep on it. Absolutely. I really appreciate your insight from somebody who